Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. This is your monthly read for October. October, October. I love October. It's my favorite month. Pumpkins and apple cider and leaves and the cool weather. I just love it all. It's awesome. So anyway, Scorps, this is your reading for October-ish, right? Whenever it resonates to whenever it doesn't. This reading is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. I have to go through the spiel every single time because some people don't understand. This is a general reading. This is not a reading for you, okay? This is a general thread that is going through the sign of Scorpio based on the planetary positions at this particular time in life. That being said, um, if you find yourself somewhere in this reading, um, if you identify with this reading, do understand that this is not your reading, even if you identify with it, okay? Um, I can't tell you, can't tell you how many people I talk to that binge watch YouTube tarot and they come to me for a reading and it's not. It's not what's on what's on YouTube tarot. So everybody's journey is different. Everybody's journey is independent and special. And this is not a reading for you. It's a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you would like more information, confirmation, wisdom, understanding, um, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader and get a tarot card reading. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. And uh, yeah, so there you go, Scorps. All right, let's get into this, okay? Let's get into this. So exciting. Okay, here we go, Scorpio. Let me move my my microphone cable out the way. Okay, Scorps, here we go. So start out this reading with the hanged man energy. Okay. The hanged man. Oh, by the way, I'm using Thoth as the root cards and Rider Waite as the clarifying cards. Okay. These are a little bit different than regular old tarot, but I will explain them as we go through. Okay. So the hanged man, right? This is you. This is you processing some kind of thought pattern, okay? Not doing anything about it, just digesting something, okay? What are you digesting, Scorps? Well, you're digesting your desire to reach out and reunite with a queen of wands person, whoever that may be for you. Uh, Sag, Leo, Aries does not have to to be. It's just simply somebody that you find to be very, very attractive. They're probably powerful in their own right. Um, maybe, um, maybe you find them to be, you know, sexy and, and, and you have a lot of passion for this person, right? But you're thinking about reuniting with a queen of wands character. I also want to point out that the queen of wands is about sex, sex, sex. <laughs> is that a Freudian slip, Scorpio? <laughs> The Queen of Wands. Is she about sex? Yes, she is. <laughs> but she's also about success, achievement, accomplishment, and determination, right? So you're in the hangman energy down here thinking, thinking about, boy, there's just a really weird glare going on here. I hope you all can see this okay. Hangman energy, thinking about reaching out and reuniting with Somebody that really, really checks your boxes, Scorpio. But the Six of Cups in reverse comes in and says two, two things to me. It says, number one, that you're stuck in the past, okay? You're kind of stuck on this person. Can't get them out of your mind. Can't get them. Maybe you have some kind of energetic connection with this person, right? The Six of Cups in reverse also tells me that you feel, in the hangman energy, that this would be a bit unrealistic, why? Why is this unrealistic for you, Scorpio? Why, why, why? Well, we have the card of science, okay? This card is about irrefutable knowledge. It's about knowing that you know that you know. And because you know, you cannot claim ignorance and naivety, naivety or stupidity. You have concrete, scientific, logic-based knowledge that, you, that is irrefutable to the, or at least you think you do, okay? I want to point that out, right? At least you think you do. What is this about? It's about the King of Swords, right? This card is about making some kind of a decision. Not just making a decision, but executing a decision, right? 
to the Hierophant in reverse. This is your personal beliefs. This is your place in the world. What do you believe? What do you believe about yourself? What do you believe about this Queen of Wands person? What do you believe about this relationship? What do you believe about everything that is surrounding this relationship? That's what this Hierophant in reverse is about. So just to recap, Scorpio, you, um, you are, you have reevaluated your personal belief system, right? You've reevaluated what you believe about yourself, this person, this relationship. To the King of Swords, you have made a decision, right? You have, you have used intellect, reasoning, um, logic to make a decision about what you believe about this person, this relationship, this situation. And this to you, my friend, is irrefutable. This is, this is your decision. This is the knowledge that you have that is um, absolutely 100% concrete in your mind. The knowledge that you have that's concrete is that you have made a decision to, to, to reevaluate your personal beliefs about this situation. Right, because back here you were in the hangman mode, right? Thinking, not doing anything, right? About reuniting with a queen of wands because you're still stuck on this person, but you think it might be unrealistic for you to approach them. The decision that you made, see, in the hangman, you were hanging with the king of swords, you're executing, right? So the decision making process that you went through in the hangman energy is the king of swords which is you making a decision to release your limiting beliefs your fears about reaching out to this person what we have next is completion right completion this card is the um the four of wands in regular old tarot in this deck this card represents completion completion of a cycle completion of a thought pattern completion of a decision making process completion of the hangman energy right to the knight of pentacles in reverse being stuck so a completion is happening in regards to you being stuck in the hangman energy because you made the decision with the king of swords to reevaluate your personal belief system there's a completion to that whole thing right there right dominion the two of wands in this deck dominion is about having absolute complete and total control over um, the situation over your thought patterns, over your feelings, over your um, security in regards to this situation. It's having complete and total control. And you do because you made that decision with the King of Swords, right? What is this decision? What do you have control over? Well, the Sun card comes in and talks about success, happiness, vitality, right? That is what you want. You, your decision is that reaching out to this person very well may bring you a handful of happiness to the wheel, right? You want a turning point in this relationship. One way or another, you want a turning point in this relationship. And the Eight of Wands says that you're going to execute. There, this is about an energetic shift, right? Uh, swift change, action, movement, communication, right? You are going to have an energetic shift, possibly reach out and communicate. We'll get down here a little bit more and see if you do communicate about, about a... Um, a turning point with the wheel in this relationship and the sun card says what have I had what do I have to lose right what do I have to lose they're not in my life now so if they continue to not be in my life I have nothing to lose all I have to gain is happiness nothing to lose everything to gain prudence you want to use a lot of discernment. You want to be very prudent in how you approach this person, okay? Very prudent on how you approach this person. Who? The Queen of Wands, right? Because again, you want to achieve, you want success in this situation, so you want to be very prudent about how you bring that about in the situation. How are you gonna do that? With the Ace of Swords. You're going to speak your truth. You're going to speak your truth to this person. 
this Queen of Wands character. After very prudent um, um, contemplation about things. The Prince of Wands. This is about enthusiasm. In the center of your reading, by the way, this is about enthusiasm, excitement, um, the, the, the excited about the possibility of exploring and discovering um, in the realm of this relationship with the Queen of Wands. The Fool. Because you want a brand new beginning and a brand new journey. This card is about preparing to take a quantum leap. And that is what you're about to do, Scorpio. That's the decision that you made. You are going to take a quantum leap. What do you have to lose? To the world, right? You want to close out this cycle. You want to close it out come what may, right? Again, what do you have to lose? You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. And you want to close out the cycle that has been because obviously you're not together or talking because the Three of Cups is, is talking about reuniting, right? You want to close out the cycle of not being united and be reunited with this Queen of Wands personality. Three of Pentacles says you want teamwork and collaboration. And the star card, set, star card says hope, faith, purpose, and renewal is what you're after. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, Scorpio. Two the three of discs in this deck this is called works right there's some work that needs to be done in the situation some work that needs to be done because with the king of cups in reverse somebody is emotionally volatile right emotionally volatile uh, um, in, in the situation. And I think it's you, Scorpio. I think even though you've made the decision and this is what you want, the work that needs to be done is for you to come to terms with whatever emotional difficulties you're having about this particular situation. To the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is about being unrealistic, right? So what these cards are saying is that you need to work on your insecurities. You need to work on your insecurities with the King of Cups in reverse that, that sharing your emotions with this person is unrealistic and unattainable. That's the work that needs to be done. That's the hump that you have to get over, Scorpio. What do you got to do? Adjustment, right? There needs to be an adjustment in your way of thinking in order for you to execute the action that you want to take. Temperance comes in, talks about balance, patience, purpose, moderation, purpose. I think this card is talking about purpose, right? Because the adjustment that you need to make being your emotional insecurity about going forward to this person with your, with your um, feelings. Um, actually, you know what? The adjustment, the adjustment needs to be See, temperance is about patience, purpose, balance, moderation, right? What you're doing in this temperance card is you are balancing it out, right? You're being patient. You, you're applying temperance to your desire to reach out to this person, right? The adjustment that needs to happen is that you need to come to terms. You need to work out your feelings of insecurity in this situation, the adjustment that you need to make is that you need to come out of the temperance energy and the nine of swords. You need to come out of your mind. Nines are a great place to be though, right? As painful as it may be in this nine of swords energy, nines are about fruition and attainment, right? Completion, conclusion. So that's what you're doing in this nine of swords, right? Maybe staying up at night with some anxiety, rubbing your head, trying to think about how you can bring this situation to fruition. Well, because, like I said before, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain with the abundance card, right? Nothing to lose and everything to gain. The moon in reverse talks about releasing fears and dealing with repressed emotions. 
to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is about um, an overcommitment, right? An overcommitment to the Seven of Wands, a challenge. So what you're what what you're what you're doing here is releasing your fears and your repressed emotions with the Moon in reverse. You are. Um, stopping the over investment of your energies into the insecure part of this whole thing, right? And a challenge comes in and says, you know, this is your challenge. This is your challenge. Your challenge is to stop over investing in the insecurity, release the fear, deal with the repressed emotions, because all you have to gain is abundance. The cruelty. This is the Nine of Swords again. Nine of Swords in this deck is called cruelty, and I think that's a great name for it, right? It's a great name. This is the anxiety, the fear. Um, the, the, uh, I, I, I really think it's just straight, like straight up anxiety for you, Scorpio, because you think that this person is, is, is not going to receive you very well, right? And hence you're all up in your head. But again, nines are fruition, attainment, conclusion, completion, right? And, and that's what this card represents. To the seven of cups, right? Attainment, fruition, completion of, of the anxiety, right? Of the anxiety to the seven of cups. Seven of cups is about illusion, right? Illusion, wishful thinking. And that's what's creating the anxiety is that you're not sure how this person is going to respond to you. To the... Four of Wands in reverse. This Four of Wands in reverse is about a communication breakdown, right? You haven't talked to this person. You don't know anything about them. You don't know where they're at, what they're doing, what's going on in their life. And for you to screw up enough courage to come towards this person is a big deal for you, Scorpio. A big deal. Well, lo and behold, change. The Two of Discs, change, right? Things are about to change, Scorpio. Things are about to change because you are going to put out some communication with the Page of Swords. Little communication, but nevertheless communication. Maybe it's just like a quick text that says, hey, right? And then that person's going to get it and go, oh my God, <laughs> Scorpio just texted me, right? Kind of how it's going to shake down to the death card, right? You're, you, you are going to, the death card is putting an end to your fear because the page of swords is acting on the decision that you made in the hangman energy to move forward and bring a cycle change to this whole situation, to bring an energetic shift to this whole situation, right? You're going to reach out with some communication and it's going to cause change in the dynamics of the relationship. The death card comes in and says that there's going to be an end to your suffering, Scorpio. There's going to be a change, a transformation in this relationship to the nine of pentacles. This is a culmination. Remember nines, fruition, attainment. There's a lot of nines in this reading, actually. Fruition and attainment, right? A completion, a conclusion. Your communication reaching out to this, this Queen of Wands person that you want to communicate with about reuniting is, is going to change the situation. It's going to completely and totally change the situation. It's going to bring an ending to the way that things were and a beginning to the way that things will be to the Nine of Pentacles, bringing the whole damn thing to a conclusion. <laughs> Again, right? This is the nine of discs. This is about gain. Nine again. Fruition, attainment, completion. Nine. This is gain, right? To the ten of swords. This is loss. So what these cards are saying is that you have everything to gain and nothing to lose because you don't have it now anyway, right? And if they reject you, if they're like, nah, Scorp, I'm good, what have you lost, right? What have you lost? Maybe a little ego, 
get control of the ego, right? Ego fucks everything up. Get control of the ego, right? So you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. To the Prince of Discs, right? This is slow moving energy, right? It's taken a good long minute for you to be able to um, approach this person for whatever reason. Don't know, but it's taken a good long minute for you to be able to approach this person. To the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, right? The King of Pentacles is telling me perhaps... Um, Perhaps this is the, the person that you're going towards, the King of Pentacles, right? Um, King of Pentacles represents control and power, right? So what this is saying is that you are taking your time. You're being very prudent, using a lot of discernment on, on, on making your way to this person. And it's taken a good long minute to the king of pentacles. Now you have power and control. What do you have power and control of? Your feelings with the queen of cups. You have power and control over your feelings. To the judgment card, going to make um, an absolute black and white decision. Yesterday it was like this. Today it is like this. This is about a rebirth, right? An absolute powerful life-altering decision with the judgment card to the three of swords in reverse to come out of the pain that is associated with this right like i said reuniting you're not with this person you're stuck in the past on this person you think it's unrealistic to approach this person nines everywhere right nines everywhere you have nothing to lose everything to gain and this decision this judgment right here is you absolutely coming out of all of this and 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 releasing pain having optimism and giving forgiveness where forgiveness is due approaching the situation like the emperor Approaching the situation like the boss you are. This is the card of Aries. This card for me, always, 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 just like the King of Wands, is half Scorpio and half Aries. Long story, but to me as a reader, that's what I see in this card. So Scorpio, you are handling the situation like a boss. You've come through every emotional, physical, and mental process that each one of these cards represents. And you've come to the end of it with, the, with a massive decision with the judgment card that you are going to handle this shit like a boss. You got your mojo back. You got your confidence back. You are no longer in the Nine of Swords energy. You are no longer... Um, concerned that this person is going to um, reject you, right? You are on top of the game with the emperor. To the knight of discs. This again is, is slow energy, but this, this knight is about assessing the landscape of your future assessing the landscape of your future because this guy's job is to walk the perimeter of the kingdom. He's a knight. He's about action. His action is to look at everything, make sure the fences are tight, the crops are growing, the workers are working, everybody has their resources. And that's like an all day, every day kind of job. That's why his energy is slow, right? So this is about assessing the landscape of, the, uh, of your future, making a list and figuring out how you are going to implement what it is that you want to see your future grow into. To luxury. This is a card about having not only enough, but having more than enough. It's about something that adds beauty and enjoyment to your life. It's not absolutely necessary, but when you have it, it adds quality to your life. And that's how you feel about this queen of wands person. That's how you feel. You're like, I have nothing to lose and everything to gain because this queen of wands person is going to add benefit to my life and to my future. 
lo and behold, peace comes in, right? Peace. This whole reading has been about you struggling with inner peace about the situation, about how you're going to go forward, how you're going to approach this situation, screwing up your courage, getting ready to go forward because by golly, Scorpio, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And boom, last card in this spread is justice. This brings fairness, truth, universal law, karmic law into the situation. You don't get justice unless there was an injustice. And the injustice is whatever it was that, that, that made you two not be together in the first place, right? Hence reuniting, right? So your decision-making process, your getting your mojo back as the emperor, Assessing the future landscape of your life, wanting this Queen of Wands character in there because they're only going to add value to your future, brings a sense of peace. Peace, and it brings peace to the situation with justice as the cherry on top, right? It brings justice where there was an injustice. This tells me, Scorpio, that when you reach out to this person, that there's going to be um, a successful result on the other side of it, right? These cards don't go into what's going to happen next, but these cards definitely tell me that there is um, peace and justice brought to the situation by your actions to reach out to this Queen of Wands character that you would like to have in your future. Everything to gain and nothing to lose, Scorpio. That was a great reading. That was a great reading. That was an awesome reading. That was great, Scorpio. Man, I hope you enjoyed it. I do. I hope you enjoyed it because lo and behold, man, you got a lot you got a lot to look forward to here, Scorpio. And um, I, I, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's journey is different. But these cards tell me that when you do reach out to this person, that there is going to be peace and justice brought to the situation. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.